welcome back, this time to the fourth episode. In this one, we're going to be covering the marker and how to use it to gain information about the map around you. Begin with tapping your finger to the screen and holding it for a second or two. This will bring out an orange marker. While still holding your finger to the screen, drag the marker to a point of interest. Once you let go, the following menu will appear. At the top, you can see the position of the mark, as well as your distance and bearing towards it. And below that, you have the option to save the mark as a point of interest inside the app. To do this, just give your mark a name and tap Create Mark. Whenever you have a mark selected, the distance and bearing from your own vessel to the mark will always be displayed in the Instrument panel. To view all your marks and select which ones are hidden and which ones are shown, just tap the flag icon. In the next episode, we'll talk about mapping out routes and such, so we'll leave that out for now. With SeaPilot, you can easily import and export routes and marks to share with your friends. Simply go to the Settings menu and the Export Import section. Select which items, such as marks or routes, that you want to export, and then send them as an email attachment. But let's go back and have a look at the other options that were in the Market menu. So once again, just tap and hold, wait for the orange marker, and then let go. Under this section, you can create an electronic bearing line and variable range marker by tapping either own position to get one centered around your vessel on a map, or by tapping free to get one that you can move around freely. To change direction and or size, just tap and hold inside the circle and then drag it around. You can see that the measurements are shown both in the instrument panel and on the bearing line itself. You can delete it by selecting and then tapping delete. At the bottom of the menu, you can tap chart information to gain further information about the map. For example, the height of a bridge or the specific details of a lighthouse. You can tap the last button to get a weather forecast measured from the nearest weather station. In the last video, we talked about follow lock and head up options in the own vessel menu. But let's have a slightly closer look at these. Enabling the follow lock option means that your own vessel will be fixed inside the parameters of the screen and that you will be unable to move the map any further. Having the head up option disabled means that north will always be at the top of your map. However, turning this option on means that the map will be rotated based on which direction your vessel is facing. Just note that for heads up to be enabled, follow lock also has to be active. Thanks for watching the fourth episode, in which we've learned how to create, save, and share marks, use the electronic bearing line, and explored map orientation a little bit more in depth. Hope to see you in the fifth episode, in which we'll be covering how to create routes.